It's Jan back at it again with another nerdy bookish video. Welcome to Fall into Read a Nope, <laughs> the Fall into Autumn Readathon. It's Friday today. It started at 8 p.m. It's almost nine. Those three days, there are like five challenges. Only two of them are reading related, and the rest are cozy things to do. The two reading challenges are read a book with an autumnal cover, which I'm gonna read The Immortalists for. I'm already 68 pages into this one, and then I'm also reading A Deadly Education by Naomi Novak. I've been trying to finish that book for so freaking long. Well, since I got it. I'm talking to my camera. We're vlogging. Oh, I'm at Xavier's place. We're in Chicago. Chicago. Say hey. Hey, y'all. A Deadly Education I'm not vibing with, but I'm like 100 pages away from finishing, so we're gonna push through and hope it changes, but it probably won't. The other challenge is read a book that's either cozy or spooky, depending on your personal fall vibe. I'm gonna count A Deadly Education for that, even though it's not really my book of choice, but I'm also gonna start The Secret History by Donna Tartt, because that's the Late Night Book Club's October pick, but it's hosted by Joel from Fictional Fates, Noelle from Noelle Gallagher, and Elias from Elias Reads. I've been wanting to read that book because it's like on everyone's TBR. The Chapters are like 60 pages long though, and I cannot, but whatever. So yeah, that's that. We still have to do our second workout of the day. We're doing the 75 hard challenge. I've been mentioning it for the past like five videos. Look it up if you don't know what it is. It sucks. And he's filling his Brita with his big ass measuring cup. Cause we have to drink a gallon of fucking water a day. No one asked us to do this, but you know, here we are. Hope this is as cozy as I'm anticipating. Cause we're trying to be aesthetic and okay. That's, I, I'm trash. Hello. I'm eating a granola bar, reading A Deadly Education. I mentioned in my previous vlog, it's just like a lot of world building and I understand that fantasy books have to do that, but it's like, it's not a good balance between world building and plot. Also, the thing that bothers me the most is that the main character, I don't even know how to say her name, Galadriel, it's apparently a Lord of the Rings reference or something. <laughs> she goes by L. Just tries so hard to be funny and she's not funny. Like she tries so hard to be like, oh, I'm sassy. I make these quirky, witty comments that are supposed to make the reader laugh but like it doesn't really make me feel anything it just <laughs> annoys me and like it took me a while to understand the magic system i still kind of don't really understand i'm just like bored is the bottom line here but i'm only like a hundred ish pages away from finishing and i bought it full price so we're, we're gonna keep chugging along xavier agreed to watch a halloween movie today it's like 10 30 so it's like kind of past our bedtime <laughs> but it's being sweet because i've been wanting to watch a halloween movie for so long but one of the challenges for this readathon is do something cozy so that's my cozy thing that's all i got so cue b-roll <laughs> We're gonna watch The Haunted Mansion. Is it on Netflix? I don't know. But in terms of my book, I read like a chapter. I'm still confused by Orion's and Elle's dynamic. Like, I don't understand. Are they dating? Does she like him? Does he like her? And then they're like trying to kill each other at some point. And then they're like best friends. And it's just so confusing. What am I doing? The Haunted Mansion. I'm gonna put fuzzy socks on and get all cozy. Ooh, you know what I want? Apples with peanut butter. That's what we have. Apples and peanut butter. Heck yeah. For my cozy socks. It's not on Netflix. I got grapes. I got apples. And a blanket. Good morning. So my face looks atrocious right now. I just got out of bed. <laughs> I just want to come on here and say I'm about to read Buy Yourself the Fucking Lilies because this is my non-fiction read. That's really good. It's about self-love. I love the author's voice and it's not like super preachy. It's very colloquial and she's funny. So we're going to start with this and then we're going to try to finish A Deadly Education today. <laughs> appearance hey so xavier went to the grocery store and i stayed here because i don't feel like going into public is it obvious the reason why so i'm just helping him out and <laughs> finally cleaning his room just like putting his clothes away because they were like all over the floor because he just moved in and got everything out of storage a few weeks ago so yeah i know he was really stressed about it so i was trying to be a good girlfriend and doing this for him because i don't mind folding clothes because 
Hashtag worked in retail for all my freaking life. That's what's happening now. I read a little bit more of A Deadly Education. I'm still not really into it. I still feel the same way about it. It sucks because it was one of my most anticipated this fall and I love the cover and the premise of it. Uh, magic school for adults and if you fail you die and that's pretty much all I knew about it and I was hooked but um, wasn't hooked when I started reading it. So that's disappointing. I honestly think it's been putting me in kind of a reading slump because I've been finishing like one book per vlog and I hate that for me. I just want to, I need to like bunker down, bunker down, whatever, and just read through the rest of A Deadly Education and then move on with my life and start reading the speed I normally do again. I'm gonna finish this last suitcase and rearrange some things. Mission accomplished, y'all. Show them your reaction. It was, I was he just said. Like, yeah, I was like, <laughs> she's a cutie. Yeah, thanks. I'm wearing my pumpkin guy. <laughs> I don't want to work out. I want to be a Toys R Us kid. Hello. We took a nap. We took a walk. My stomach hurt like a bitch. I really need to finish a deadly education. I have, what's 313 minus 240? 73. I have 73 more pages, so we're gonna go to Starbucks and I'm gonna sit my booty down and read this dang book. Sit my booty down. And I'm wearing the same cardigan this entire weekend because it's cold and I didn't bring a jacket. And then we have to work out again. Yeah. We love that for us. So what th hey, it's our seven months tomorrow. Hey. But yes, off to Starbucks we go for the second night in a row. Oh, bars. Laughing at a business book, you guys. But I can't even hold the camera. That's great. That's right. <laughs> We're making him. <laughs> what are you swatting away over there? We're making him a good reads, y'all. Yeah. Follow him. Whatever. Be his friend. Whatever. <laughs> I hate this book. I am six pages away from finishing. Same. <laughs> just finished. Someone please comment down below or DM me on Instagram if you've read this book because I have things to say. <laughs> mm, two stars, first of all. It would have been one star if it didn't make me laugh at like two or three times. <laughs> two or three. <laughs> Even though the main character tried so hard to be funny, she actually was a couple times, but like not in like dialogue form. It's like she was talking to the reader. So like when she's, you know, direct, like second person type stuff, those parts were funny sometimes, sometimes. A countable number of times. But other than that, what the fuck just happened? Why the fuck? did Orion and Elle not know they were dating? I'm just so confused about their dynamic. I don't know. They are full grown ass adults. Why did they have a whole ass three page conversation about whether they should start dating or not and why he wouldn't ask her out at that very moment? Like what? What? You're 24. Like can't you just like context clue it out? Like fucking handle the situation like normal adults. I don't even know what else to say. I feel like I blacked out every time I opened this book. Focus for about two paragraphs and then I just zone out and completely not know what the fuck is going on. I don't know. I don't know. I understood the magic system. There's like Malia and Mana and Maleficers and like creatures. I found it interesting reading about those like hyena cheetah hybrids, but that lasted about half a page. There was this like weird jellyfish type creature that made me laugh. That was the first time it made me laugh and it was on page like 250 or some shit. Yeah, this was not what I expected at all. I'm not gonna continue with the series. I'm not gonna read anything by this author anymore. I like the cover though. It's gonna serve as decor from now on. Can't believe I paid full price for this bitch. I wasted lots of time on it. It probably put me in kind of a reading slump. Half the time they were just running around the school meeting new characters like every chapter. The chapters were unnecessarily long. This book was just unnecessary. I'm so upset. Someone please talk about this book with me because I cannot handle it. Biggest disappointment of 2020 for sure, along with Cersei. Maybe I should make a video for most disappointing reads of 2020. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, this is definitely the top of the list. Fuck, I'm so mad. It sounded so cool. I just don't understand. Like I thought it would be more. I just thought it would be more. <laughs> That's all, two stars. I don't know. I don't even want to count it for this readathon. I'm so like, 
I'm gonna go work out now. I'm done. That's all. My camera's dying. How about you? What are your thoughts? My book's great. I ranted for five minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> Sunday. I just did my makeup and stuff. I still got to do my hair. I made some iced coffee as you guys saw. Made as in like poured. I got to part two of The Immortalist, so chapter 10, and I'm liking it so far. Someone just died, so cool. It was actually really sad, but I think I want to start The Secret History. Look, this book sleeve is like perfect. Like if this book was like 10 pages longer, <laughs> it would not fit in this. I think I'm gonna start this. I don't have a dust jacket on, but I got the book of the month exclusive hardcover edition and it's huge. Obviously not gonna finish this today. I'm hoping for this upcoming week, but it won't be in the vlog, obviously. Did I say what book this was? The Secret History by Donna Tartt? <laughs> yeah, Dark Academia. Everyone's reading it this season. I honestly don't even know what it's about. I just wanna go into it blind. I'm scared though, because the chapters are like 40, 50, 60. 60 pages long and that terrifies me but we're gonna get through it because hopefully that gets me out of my little reading slump after a freaking deadly education we all know how i feel about that one it's the last day of the what's it called i almost said gilmore girls readathon what is this the fall into autumn readathon the gilmore girls readathon for this year was just announced today so that's exciting i thought that wasn't happening this year so that made me happy so that's in november so stay tuned for that xavier and i are gonna go back to my place after he finishes meal prepping we're gonna paint pumpkins tonight i'm so excited so that'll be my like autumn photo for the challenge of take an autumnal photo i'll go through the challenges at the end hopefully i actually succeed in this readathon i want to finish this today but i want to start the secret history like right now that's my little update i will catch you guys when i have another one <laughs> Just what I freaking needed. Already obsessed. Also, that kind of hurt. I could literally beat someone's ass at this book. I'm on page 16 and I already have four tabs. And I think I'm gonna use all purple just cause if I use any other color, it's gonna piss me off. This is what I was looking for in a deadly education. Even though nothing's really happening. <laughs> nothing's happening at all. He just got to the school. I'm obsessed. I know I'm gonna fly through it even though it's like 600 pages. I love the writing. Do I finish it today? I'm just kidding. Look at this cutie meal prepping. Hello. <laughs> we got our pumpkins. This is over there. It's stemless. We just went on a walk. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna make some food. And then we're gonna watch Dead Poet Society. Or is it a Dead Poet Society? I don't know, but it's like the same vibes as The Secret History, so I thought it'd be fitting. And he loves that movie. And we're gonna paint these pumpkins. Am I right? Yes. Whoa. Up close and personal. So I'm eating my chicken teriyaki with rice again. I've been on fire with my cooking lately. <laughs> and if you know me, I don't cook, but the 75 hard challenge has been getting me to cook. I made a veggie burger earlier today fire. This chicken teriyaki thing that I came up with, fire. But anyway, I read a little bit more of The Secret History. I love it. I love it. I don't even care that it's a freaking brick. He just met the five students in the Greek class that he wanted to get into and it's like sketchy because like the teacher acts really weird and like only has a select number of students. So we're trying to figure that out right now. Um, so I'm in the way beginning. I'm excited to like delve into it and read like a huge chunk tomorrow. I have the whole day to myself tomorrow. Xavier's going back to his place. He just came here to drop me off and he's staying the night and then it's going back and then coming back Tuesday. In terms of the readathon, I think I'm gonna extend it to tomorrow because we make our own rules here. It's my channel, I can do what I want. <laughs> I think I'm gonna extend it to tomorrow just because it started at 8 p.m. on Friday and like I didn't really read too much and the one book I did finish was a two star. So I wanna like either just really get into the secret history or finish the immortalists or both because I'm liking both. I really like the social commentary on everything like with AIDS and being gay in the 19... 
80s, 60s, 70s. Oh, and one of the challenges is take a fall photo and hashtag fall into autumn readathon. And I just took one with my pumpkin and I'll take another one once we paint them. I'm gonna paint Starry Night on mine because I love Starry Night. Like, hello. And then my laptop case, you can't really see it. That's also Starry Night. So that's the fourth challenge checked off out of five. And then the fifth challenge would just be finishing The Immortalist because it's read a book with an autumnal cover. Are you excited? Oh gosh. <laughs> We're gonna try to do that on that. <laughs> Good luck to me. She's all blue. What you making? <laughs> He's having so much fun. So am I. It's kind of relaxing. I'm scared I'm gonna drop all my paint on my carpet. Okay, she's not as cute as I thought it would be. I think it's cute. I tried. There's <laughs> Xavier's candy corn. He was too lazy to double layer at the bottom, but... Yo. I like it. From far away, she's not that bad. I mean, it's unique, I guess. It's a very loose interpretation of Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. See? It's close, right? I got the moon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Someone's sleepy. I'm not. We just watched Emily in Paris. Jumped on that bandwagon, because my mom told me to. Cause she's like, she reminds me of you and your marketing. And I'm like, okay. Oh, first scene. First scene, Chicago, Chicago Illinois. And I was like... Ugh, if you know, you know. We are gonna sleep soon. So, good night for now. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Monday. It's like almost noon now, actually. Xavier just left this morning. I've just been reading us The Secret History because I'm loving it. I changed my tab system though. Like I told you, I was just gonna do all purple but to match, you know? But Bunny, one of the characters, that's not his real name. I think his real name is like Edmund or Edward or something. He cracks me up. So I was like, I need a different tab color for all these funny parts in here. Oh. So it's just silver and purple to match the cover, which is right here. So grayish and then purple. This is an autumnal cover, right? I can count it instead of the Immortalist for the challenge. I'm obviously not gonna finish a secret history, but that counts as the challenge, maybe possibly. And this will be my first successful readathon, I think, maybe. I ordered more of these metallic tabs, even though they're way overpriced, but I love them. Today's plan is just to get a huge chunk of the secret history. Red workout twice per usual. Today would mark a full month of doing the 75 heart challenge crazy and i might go to a coffee shop and get some things done so i really just gotta get these assignments out of the way for my marketing job so that i can just read and i have to clean i have to pick this place up it is a disaster zone because i was gone for the past you know three days or whatever i just need to clean so yeah that's the plan for today i just need to get this workout in because i really don't feel like it but i just have to do it Oh my god, I'm literally so stupid. So I went to Starbucks and I left because 7.30 is my birth control time. And I couldn't find my wallet. Here's the bag I brought. And I couldn't find my wallet and there was like hella room in there. And I was like, oh my god, where is it? So I like skirted my way back home, anxious as hell. Because first of all, my wallet. Second of all, birth control. Third of all, and I was like, oh my god, what if I put it in Xavier, one of Xavier's bags? I have to go get it in Chicago. Like it was this whole thing. And then I get home and I was like okay it's not anywhere in my living room I didn't even take it out of my purse like I'm so confused and literally it's so dark in there but I freaking found it it was in the bag I had at Starbucks the entire time I was literally about to have a heart attack as I pressed call to call Xavier I found it in my bag and I was like I'm so dumb but anyways, just got back from Starbucks. I got a decent amount done. Didn't get any reading done, but I did journal. I did a lot of like marketing stuff and like logistical things, figuring out this new, pro not program, like website thing and a bunch of stuff. So that was a good time. I do want to work out. Whoa, my triceps are sore. What to work out today then? Probably legs and abs. I'll probably do Chloe Ting. To calm myself down from that freaking anxiety attack, I'm going to read a little bit more. I don't have anything going on early tomorrow, so I kind of want to stay up like as late as I can, which is probably like 2 a.m. max, and try to finish either Buy Yourself the Fucking Lilies or The Immortalist, because obviously the secret history is not happening because it's like 550 pages, and that's when I'll end the vlog. I can't get over how cute our pumpkins are, even though, like, it's growing on me. It's growing on me. I didn't get any cleaning done. So there's that. I do want to like do dishes and like, oh god, stay. 
and little things like that but in terms of like deep cleaning that's not happening tonight i gotta pee really badly so that's all for now <laughs> Okay, so I opened the Immortalist back up, and look. What does that say? University of freaking Chicago. That's insane. I just can't believe. I'm always so shook. I overuse the word shook, don't I? Sorry. Whenever it happens, even though it happens in literally every book I read, I swear to God. That's so irritating. Like, why? I always just ask myself, why? Can't you pick any other freaking city? <laughs> it's so weird. Ugh unexpected pregnancy just happened i hate that this book is going fast i guess i'm feeling a three star for now but i feel like that'll get better towards the end i, I think it's gonna be a four star max it's 11 30 at night right now and i'm on page 132 out of 343 i believe or something like that could i do it tonight i mean i had coffee pretty late in the day so maybe we'll see sorry i look like a mess i obviously showered after my workout so so I finally finished my gallon of water for the day. I also changed because my wet hair was soaking up the other shirt I was wearing. But anyway, I'm on page 179. I'm gonna leave the book down on my bed though because I'm too lazy to hold it. And it's freezing in my apartment. I'm enjoying the story. It gets really morbid sometimes. It talks about death a lot. I don't know if that's obvious or not because you know, siblings know when they're gonna die. I'm on part three right now and each part has been focused on one sibling, like how they chose to live of their lives until the date of their death. I think this is actually my favorite part so far because things just got deep. This book is really well researched. It like literally whips out dates and facts and history because it is set in the 1960s for the most part. This girl just ranted about art and stuff like that. So that's cool because I'm learning some facts. Probably won't remember them after I finish this book or this chapter, but you know, it's in there somewhere in my brain. The writing isn't like earth shattering or anything. It's good enough to keep me going and it's a quick read. Definitely not gonna finish it tonight. I was just trying to finish my water. I'll probably stay up for another hour. So I'm definitely gonna get past the 200 page mark. Hello, this is Future Jan post ending the vlog because this vlog's a mess which is a pretty accurate representation of my life. I just wanted to come on here because I got this cute little package and she wrote, thanks babe, XO Becca on it. This is from Hello Lovely Box. I think they collabed with BookBo, so like the book sleeves that you see all over Instagram, you know. Pre-order this, when I rarely pre-order anything unless it's like an album by a band I like or like a really anticipated book. But I pre-ordered this. I'm glad I did because it sold out when I checked back in like a week. So, oh, she's so cute. It's a book sleeve. It's my second book sleeve. I figured I need at least two, you know, if I'm bringing multiple books. But it says bury me next to my TBR and there's a cute little skeleton reading a book next to her TBR. She's so cute. I thought it'd be a little bit bigger, honestly. Where's the secret history? Let me see if it fits better. Yikes. Okay, she's not that big. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, wait. The secret history does fit but it's tighter than the other one and this is definitely not gonna zip up but it does fit a thick book and it has a zipper it does not have a pocket which is eh because i like keeping my tabs in my book sleeve but it's fine cute so i love it that's all that's like my little mini haul maybe i'll start another vlog tomorrow i don't know i've been vlogging every day of my life okay back to regularly scheduled programming where jan's about to end the vlog probably it sucks that I only read one book in this vlog, but I really tried. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe and stay positive always, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!